Hello, and this is Games with Frank. I just wanted to quickly cover a few questions that come up very often here in the Unity Playmaker community. Like, should I learn Playmaker first or go with C Sharp? It's very confusing, especially if you're starting out your game development journey. The short answer is it depends on a few things. Your academic background plays a role in this as well. If you're familiar with other programming languages, then you would probably pick up C Sharp faster and you won't need Playmaker at all in your workflow. If you're like me, who's from a non-IT background, I would recommend you to go with the Playmaker route, not because I've taken the same path, but because I feel Playmaker resonates with people from non-IT background in general. If you're like a visual person, and you would like to see how the functionality of our game would look like if you put it in a flowy format, then Playmaker is suitable for you. This might not be true to everyone, so before you make a solid decision, I recommend you to see a few tutorials on C Sharp, try making some games with it, and if you really, really don't understand why you're doing things the way you're doing things, then try Playmaker. You might ask why Playmaker, why not some other solution, given that Unity has built-in visual scripting package. Why can't I use that one? Well, you could try that one. Honestly, I found Playmaker very intuitive and easy to learn than Unity's own visual scripting. And the official tutorials are really good. I mean, why would it be in the top rated assets on the asset store, even after Unity released their own visual scripting counterpart? Let's talk about capabilities. Can Playmaker make entire games? Well, we've seen people make entire games with Playmaker that also became huge hits. You could make most of the genres of video games with Playmaker. I see the limit to be like a very unique game where the mechanics are so new that you'll have to use C Sharp. Most of the simple game mechanics can be achieved with Playmaker. And it's great for starting out. At the end of the day, it's you who's going to be using these tools to create video games. And you need to be more comfortable working with the tool that you choose. I tried RPG Maker VXAs, a game engine called Coppercube, Game Guru, and then Unreal Editor, before finally settling with Unity and Playmaker when I started game development. So this is a process that takes time. But it's all smooth sailing once you've settled with your preferred arsenal. So that's all from my side. I hope I've answered most of your questions about Playmaker and Unity and game development in general. If you think the video helped even a tiny bit, please do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. That would support the channel. And this is Games with Frank, signing out.